بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس دس از ڈاکٹر محمد شفیق اگین لیکچر آف فلاسفی ایٹ ڈپارٹمنٹ آف اسلامک ان پاکستان اسٹڈیز کسٹ دا کورس آئی ایم ٹیچنگ یو از کال کلام ان فلاسفی آف اسلام اینڈ دا کورس کوڈ از آئی ایس ایل فور سیون ون دس از لیکچر نمبر فور ٹوڈے and today we are going to look into the different branches of philosophy what are the major branches of philosophy as a discipline which we study in philosophy these days the outline of today's course consists upon philosophy in general and philosophy as a discipline I hope you can recall uh, previous lectures in which we try to, to define the philosophy and its functions or what philosophy means in general. We have touched upon uh, this topic in previous lectures but today we are going to discuss it in detail. So, what is philosophy in general and what is philosophy what is meant by philosophy as a discipline so we have discussed about philosophy in general because the meaning of philosophy is love for wisdom or knowledge so all those attempts which we make to acquire knowledge or call or we may call it philosophy no matter whatever settings we are in whether it's a formal class whether it's a journal discussion whether it's an argument between two people whether we are sitting in a jirga whether we are going to to the market for shopping whether we are trying to learn different skills, whether we are trying to to get used to how to operate a new phone, mobile phone we have bought recently or perhaps how to ride a bicycle or even how to drive a car because all such activities all such things need learning and whenever we are learning something we are increasing knowledge and that is what is meant by philosophy we are in love with knowledge we are in love with acquiring knowledge about a particular thing about a particular object we are in love with wisdom how to use how to utilize information or knowledge we have got to get more and more benefit of it how to utilize it properly all such things or, or philosophy in general now what is philosophy as a discipline as we have discussed philosophy in general i, I just recall uh, one thing and i would like to discuss it with you that as we have discussed in previous lectures that man has been created with something special and that special thing is faculty of reasoning faculty of thinking or intellect so whenever we are using this faculty whenever we are thinking whenever we are using our intellect 
we are basically attesting it that we are human beings we are the superior species and when we cease to do so we degrade our status from a superior species to the other normal living beings we just eat sleep reproduce and die but that is not the purpose of human being human being have much more higher status than that in fact iqbal says that because man was created with this special faculty with power of thinking so whenever man utilizes this basically he is confirming and he is thanking his creator for being blessed with this faculty so for iqbal obviously i i i take it for granted you know iqbal dr muhammad iqbal or normally we call him allama iqbal the great philosopher of east and national poet of pakistan for him basically as our god or allah says in quran that we have created men and jinn for nothing but my obedience or ibadat so iqbal says that whenever we are utilizing our intellect whenever we are using our power of thinking we are basically confirming and we are basically thanking god for this blessings hence he calls all the efforts to gain knowledge as ibadat so it it's not only beneficial for our lives here but also for him this is beneficial for life after death or life hereafter whatever you call it so gaining knowledge not only is beneficial for us in this world but also will 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 get us rewards in life hereafter that is about journal philosophy that is about the journal meaning of philosophy so philosophy is basically generally speaking it's about gaining knowledge getting close to reality because knowledge when it increases it it gets you closer and closer to your creator to closer and closer to the reality and when you get closer to reality that is how you get closer to your god because the ultimate reality of this universe is god if one believes in obviously not all the philosophers believe in god and all those philosophers who do not believe in god they are called atheists but let's concentrate upon the function or reality of philosophy in general so knowing the reality of this universe also includes knowing the reality of human being or self because man or human being is also part of this universe so if you are trying to know the reality of the universe obviously will you try to know the reality of man as well being a part of this universe and then that is why all or most of the philosophers of religion they believe that 
Once we try to dig out the reality of anything, any object, any part of this universe, that would lead us to the ultimate reality of this universe. So that is why Iqbal calls it Ibadat. Doing philosophy is an Ibadat. It's just like praying to God because this knowledge or this attempt to get to know the reality would eventually get you closer to the God, to the ultimate reality. And the whole purpose of the man in this universe is to get closer to his creator, to get closer to the ultimate reality. So that is what philosophy in general means. Now, let's come back to our topic. Now, what is philosophy as a discipline? As we discussed earlier, that to begin with, all the branches of knowledge, they were part of philosophy. But then, slowly and gradually, man, for his own convenience, started dividing it to different branches of knowledge. So now the question arises that, okay, they have divided into different branches of knowledge. Then what do we study in philosophy now? Because they have given names to different branches of knowledge, such as physics, about matter and energy, and then uh, botany, about plants, and chemistry about chemicals or chemical relationships and sociology about social society social relations so on and so forth so what is that particular thing which which, which we now study which still we study in philosophy as a discipline as you know, the function of philosophy, one of the function of philosophy is to know the reality. So to ask the questions. And all those questions which are somehow solved, they have been branched out of philosophy. But there are still certain things which are a part of philosophy as a discipline. And when we are doing a degree in philosophy now, or when we are studying philosophy as a subject, there are certain branches which are still left in philosophy. There are certain questions which are still unresolved. And these are discussed in philosophy as a discipline. So what are those? There are four major branches of philosophy, which we study in philosophy as a discipline. And the first branch, or one of the major branches of philosophy is metaphysics. So what is metaphysics? We all know about physics, although, but we don't know about metaphysics, generally speaking. You might have heard this word somewhere somehow but have you ever wondered what does it mean what is metaphysics so as we know physics is about physical objects about matter and about energy now what would be about what would be discussed in metaphysics so matter is another word which basically means beyond. So metaphysics would literally mean beyond physics or beyond physical world. So in metaphysics, we try to dig out what are the different aspects of this physical world, what is basically behind this physical world. So in metaphysics as a branch of philosophy, the, it is 
again further divided into two sub branches one is called ontology and the other one is called cosmology ontology is a branch of metaphysics which is the study of being which is the study of existence and ontology tries to dig out what does it mean to exist or what is the nature of the reality whether existence is something material or whether existence is something abstract non material or perhaps it's a combination of both so these are the questions which ontology tries to answer and obviously we will discuss these in detail when we are studying metaphysics in detail in later lectures the second branch of metaphysics is called cosmology as it is evident from its name it is re related with cosmos structure it is related with the design it is related with the harmony so what is about what is the structure of the universe is there any harmony how did it come into being is it a mere accident or there is a harmony or design in this universe whether this universe came into being with a big bang as science would say or whether it was created whether this world or human life rather has evolved into this shape or whether man as a man was created so all these questions are dealt with in this branch of metaphysics which is called cosmology the other branch of philosophy is called epistemology and it is as much important as the metaphysics is epistemology is basically that branch of philosophy which deals with knowledge itself it tries to dig out the reality of knowledge what do we mean by knowledge or what is knowledge itself what is true knowledge and what is false knowledge how do we get knowledge what are the sources of knowledge what is a valid knowledge what is a pseudo knowledge or invalid knowledge all such questions are dealt with in epistemology and epistemology is the branch of philosophy a major branch of philosophy which is still part of philosophy it is as a, as a discipline so we are going to discuss epistemology in detail in our later lectures when we are trying to study this branch of philosophy in detail there are different theories obviously in epistemology there are different theories about knowledge how do we get knowledge what are the sources of knowledge what is the nature of knowledge etc another branch or third major branch of philosophy is called axiology basically it's the branch of philosophy which reflects upon theory of values now there are two kinds of values aesthetic values and ethical values so in axiology we try to dig out axiology is again divided into two sub branches aesthetics and ethics in aesthetics uh we try to dig out the aesthetic value like what is beauty what is the nature of beauty 
what do we call beauty where does beauty comes from is it the creature of human mind or does it exist somewhere out there what are the beautiful objects why something or an object is called beautiful what are the qualities of that these are discussed in aesthetics the other branch of axiology which is ethics perhaps you might be familiar with this this branch of axiology which is called ethics concentrates upon ethical values we normally say that this is good or that is bad or someone mr so and so is a good person while mr so and so is bad person or this action is right or you're doing it wrong ethics basically concentrates upon these moral values what is the conduct which is called good or even what is good itself what is that which makes something some action right and the other action wrong what is makes someone good what is that exact value as i said philosophy tries to dig out the reality it also tries to dig out the reality of values of our value system what is meant by good and bad what is meant by right and wrong these are discussed in detail in later lectures when we are discussing ethics different moral theories the fourth branch of philosophy a major branch of philosophy is called logic and you might be familiar with this word as well what is logic what is meant by logic basically logic is the branch of philosophy which concentrates upon constructing of argument of reasoning obviously we are equipped we are blessed with the power of thinking but how does we use this thinking in order to convince other people what are those principles through which we can make an argument such an argument that the the person who is listening to it would get convinced for example for the last few lectures i am trying to convince all of you with the value of philosophy with the importance of philosophy and trying to convince you that we do need to study philosophy it is very much important so all the things i have been talking about about philosophy basically i am trying to argue i am trying to convince and as there are certain rules and principles for everything in this world obviously there are rules and principles of argumentation how to construct such an argument that we are successful in convincing the listener so the study of those principles and rules is called logic and that is again a very much important part of philosophy because without logic no science can stand that is a huge claim to make although but 
if you think if a theory is not logical nobody would accept it so what is being logical and what is non logical or illogical that would be obviously again discussed later on, on later stages when we are discussing logic as a branch of philosophy in great detail for the time being is just for you to concentrate that there are four major branches of philosophy as a discipline remember philosophy in general includes all the subjects all the branches of knowledge but philosophy as a discipline when we study philosophy as a discipline we study these branches of philosophy which we just discussed so i hope it does make a sense and again i would recommend the four books i have already recommended to you these are needed to be studied in order to learn things about philosophy and again to remind you that if you don't understand anything or if you have any questions please please do ask do use all the means all the technology you have got get in touch with me and i will try to answer your questions till next lecture take good care of yourself and your loved ones and allah hafiz